What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Andre Romance, and I'm up at this thing again. It's a little rainy today, but that's all right. Today is a special day. Today, we celebrate a man that was so in tune with his vision that he gave his life for it. And I, that's, that's an understatement to, uh, as far as what I could say about what he gave and the, the things that he sacrificed to get his message across. I wanna see, I wanna see everybody moving along in life with that same type of fearlessness. The, the level of fearlessness that he showed in his time of trying to achieve his goals, man, that was like God level. And that's how we all gotta be. That's how we have to be when we're trying to achieve our goals. We have to go in it fearlessly. And then we gotta stand by it. When it all comes to comes down to it, the the real gonna recognize the real, you know? And it it reached the point where he gave he gave he gave this great speech and he had a, a lot of a lot of people coming at him telling him not to do this speech. Not to, not to do the march and all and all these different things. People that that didn't see, didn't see the drive that he had. You know, they didn't understand why he took ownership of putting that message out. Because it could have been, it could have been anybody. You know, this this dream that he had to see unity across the United States, man. It was bigger than just him. And for other people that feared for him, they didn't want him to be putting himself on the front line. You know, I'm pretty sure he, his family, they was, they was with him, but they wasn't with him. You know, like they didn't want to lose him that way. But he stood for something so much more than just one person. And when you can when you can reach that level of talking for a large group of people rather than just for yourself, man, you have really reached your purpose. You have really stepped into the person that you are supposed to be. So I encourage y'all today, man, to Strive to be fearless in what you believe and and go after. Make it be, let it be known that you are taking full charge of what you believe in, and that when it come down to it, like you will give your life for it. If you don't believe deeply for something like that, then it's not your passion. I could say that there's a lot of stuff I like to do, but also there's a lot of things that I wouldn't die for. And sometimes we are, you know, maybe we don't, we don't recognize our passions because we don't gravitate to the idea that we would give it all to do what we love to do. But be encouraged. Today we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. who had a great vision and he went about it with tact. He carried out his vision with tact. And when I say tact, 
I mean, he did it in a tasteful way. He didn't do it in a hatred way. Which, you know, that a lot could be said about a person that is able to influence without violence or without hate. A lot could be said about a person that could just use words and cause people who feel angry to be at peace. And that's what he did for a lot of people. He was that voice that said, can we just get along? Can we exist in the same space without wanting to kill each other? Without feeling like we want to step on each other to get up to something better. He stood, he stood in that gap of people saying that I'm better than you or I don't like you because of your skin tone. He set the bar for a lot of people and still today, there's a lot of people that cannot grasp the understanding of why one person would put their life on the line for such equal rights. But it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to embrace and celebrate the life that was given so that so many could hear a peaceful message. Happy MLK Day. I love y'all. I want to uplift y'all, man. I want y'all to stay lifted. Stay lifted. Stay motivated. Um, y'all y'all keep me up. Okay? I want y'all to keep me up because I'm going to keep on keeping. I'm going to keep y'all up. But this thing has got to move like a circle. It's got to have this type of effect. So what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to support me. You know, I need y'all to lift me up. And how y'all can lift me up is by supporting my views. Support my views so that we can grow in numbers. All right? I love y'all. I'm up out of this thing.